Good morning. Join me in the recital of chapter 100, Berek Kuf in Tehillim. Mizmoyle Soida, a real Adene Kaloretz, Ibdo Sadene Bissim Chuboyle for the Birnono, the Uki Adene Hu Elohim Hu, a son of Bolan Nachnam of Tzad Marisoy, Boy Shorub Soida Hatzres, a Bissil Hoyde Rebach Shumoy, Kitoy Vadenoy Lom Chaz, Doiv Yadoiv, Doiv Remuno, so he lets us give some Tzedaka. And we're coming to the uh, second part of Sukkot. In fact, the night is called the Shana Rabba. It's the last night of Sukkot. After that, we have Shemina Tzeres and Simchas Torah. So this day, the seventh day, that is as of tonight and tomorrow, it's called Hoshana Rabba. The big Hoshana. What does this mean? So the Medosh, Medosh tells us, that God told Avram Avinu, if atonement will not be granted to your children on Rosh Hashanah, I'll grant it on Yom Kippur. If they still do not attain atonement on Yom Kippur, it will be given on Hoshana Rabbah. So this is the day which is considered the final day of the divine judgment. Let's also remember that on Sukkot we are judged regarding how much rain will fall in the upcoming year. And therefore, Shana Rabbi, the final day of Sukkot, this judgment is finalized. And when we're talking about rainfall, it doesn't mean just the rain, but rainfall represents Geshem, rain represents Gashmius livelihood. The main observance of Shana Rabbi is th- the taking of the willow, which in addition to the four kinds that we have, on the Lulav and the Esrik, two of them which are the willow. So dating back to the time of the prophets, on Hashanah Rabbah there was an additional willow that we took on the seventh day of Sukkot. This was a willow ceremony in the Beis Amikdosh, where large 18-foot willow branches were set around the Mizbech and the altar every day of Sukkot. And every day of Sukkot, the altar was circled once, account- accompanied by the pra- by supplications for divine assistance. On Shana Rabba, the altar was circled seven times, corresponding to the seven days of Sukkot. Today, during the course of Shana Rabba morning services, that is tomorrow morning, all the Torah scrolls will, will be taken out of the ark and held by people standing around the bima the place where the Torah, the table where usually the Torah is being read. Then the congregation will make seven circles around the bima. Usually on Sukkot, every day we do one, tomorrow we will do seven. And while reciting the special prayers related to Hoshana. And we do it with the Lulav and Esrik holding in hands. Then, at the conclusion of the Hoshinus, after the seventh circle, and having said all the different prayers which comes along with it, we will take a bundle of five willows and we'll strike it five times on the ground. And that symbolizes the tempering of the five measures of harshness. That the five measures of harshness should be transformed into five measures of kindness. By the way, it's a custom that men do it, women do it, even small children. If you can do it in shul, you do it at home, and we all participate in this uh, ritual. The, mean, the word hoshana means to save. And in fact, this is a recurring refrain of the, all the prayers of hoshana toward, the, toward Sukkot. The great hoshana, hoshana rabba, is named because we repeat this ritual seven times, and therefore it's called the Big Hoshana. Now, many customs are related that we do during this day. Many communities will stay up a whole night, that is tonight, the night of Hoshana Rabbah, after dancing the Simchus Beis Hosheva dance after midnight, we'll recite the entire Tehillim, we'll re- read the entire book of Dvorim, Others will even say more things. There is parts of the Zohar to be said. And it's also a custom that the Gabbai of the shul, the one in charge, so to say, of the shul, will distribute to the people apple and honey. 
the mindsets of Rosh Hashanah. And this apple and honey will then be eaten, each one personally, in their synagogue. During the day of Rosh Hashanah, it's also custom to eat kreplach. Kreplach is white dough filled with meat inside. In other words, to represent the meat represents us, the white door represents the purity that we are enveloped in the whiteness, in the kindness, in the forgiveness, in the blessings of Hashem. And we pray to Hashem that this Hoshana Rabba, we should already be dancing in the Beis HaMikdash and see those most beautiful, as we just said, 18 foot tall Hoshana.